So you thought the RTX 5090 was fast. <laughs> uh, there's something much faster. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so the RTX 5090. It's a card that, well, basically doesn't exist, but if you can buy it, it is by far the fastest graphics card on the market, but the 5090 is actually cut down from the full GPU die, and there's actually quite a bit of room to improve performance even further over the 5090. And I was sure that we wouldn't see anything faster than the 5090 because, well, frankly, Nvidia doesn't have to release it as both Intel and AMD do not have a competitor to the RTX 5090, but it looks like there is a chance that could actually not be the case. And yes, you could see the the leaked Titan AI, which don't quote me on this, but I believe was started by Red Gaming Tech. I'll go ahead and throw every link I can find in the description below. But this graphics card, the Titan AI, would not only be the fully unlocked GPU, not only would it have faster clock speeds, but it also would have faster memory as well as far more of that memory and more cache, making it a much more capable graphics card when it comes to 4K, 5K, 6K, 8K, as well as VR gaming and professional workloads. But this actually did get some credence as recently it looks like there was an article over on videocards.com that states that quote Nvidia is set to launch the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell GPU, the closest we get to a Titan. Now, of course, this does not necessarily confirm that the Titan AI itself will come as a gaming graphics card, but we do know that the GPU is at the very least coming with this RTX Pro 6000. And what is it? Well, instead of 170 SMs, you are gonna be jumping up to the full 192, which gets you 24,000 and 64 CUDA cores. That is a pretty massive increase over the RTX 5090. In fact, doing some simple math here, well, it looks like 192 over 170 gets you around 13% more cores alone, but of course with the more cache as well as the faster memory in possibly higher clock speeds on a Titan AI variant, this would actually be a significant performance improvement over the RTX 5090. We'll calculate just how much in just a second here, but let's talk a little bit more first about the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell GPU, the GPU that would almost certainly crush the RTX 5090, as it looks like this is probably very real. According to video cards, the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell will feature not only the 24,064 cores, but also 96 six gigabytes of G7 memory. That's absolutely crazy, and this is possible because GDDR7 does actually come in three gigabyte modules now rather than the two gigabytes that we've usually seen. And if you clamshell it on a 512 bit bus, that will give you 96 gigabytes of RAM, but it's gonna come at a cost as it looks like it's gonna actually need 600 watts of power. That's right, an additional 25 watts over the RTX 5090, and these will also likely be binned to have higher power efficiency, though that's not from the leak, that's just me throwing it in there. And apparently it will have just one 16 pin power connector. So hopefully the extra wattage isn't gonna overwhelm that 16 pin connector. But as I promised, let's go ahead and actually compare the RTX 5090 to this unannounced GPU. Now, I am gonna be talking about the Titan AI and not the RTX 6000 GPU as they will be the exact same GPU except for the Titan AI that was rumored previously would in theory just have slightly higher clock speeds. It would be possibly GeForce branded and it would have half the amount of memory. So 192 versus 170 on the SMs, that's a 13% uplift. You'd likely see around 2.5 gigahertz for the clock speed. So you're talking around 4% higher clock speeds, although it could be as high as 2.6 and you could see maybe closer to a 10% improvement in the clock speeds alone. You're gonna be jumping from 32 to 48 gigabytes of memory and instead of 28 gigabits per second, you should be seeing 32 gigabits per second, getting it 
to 2048 gigabytes per second of total memory bandwidth versus the 1792 on the RTX 5090. And it should be jumping from around 96 megabytes to possibly 128 megabytes of cache, although I'm not entirely sure if that will be the case. And of course it will be 600 watts, so it's gonna be sucking down a lot of power. And these will be, again, probably binned chips so they can clock as high as humanly possible. And with that all being the case, how much more performance can you actually expect to see out of an alleged Titan AI? Well, let's do some simple math. So in terms of the teraflops of the RTX 5090, we're looking at around 104.8 teraflops of total performance. But when you take a look at the Titan AI with the higher core count and the higher clock speeds, well, we're talking about around 123.9. So if we take that 123.9 over 104.8, well, you are gonna get a GPU that could be as much as 18% faster than the RTX 5090. Now, that might not sound like a whole lot, but when you compare it to the RTX 4090, well, you gotta remember that those numbers multiply, they stack, so it's actually gonna be even more significantly faster than the RTX 4090. For example, if the RTX 5090 is roughly 30% faster, well, then you're gonna take this 18% times 1.3, and that actually gets you a GPU that at least on paper would be around 54% faster than the RTX 4090. And that would be the GPU that everybody was hoping to see out of the RTX 50 series in terms of a flagship GPU. If you wanted an absolutely enormous improvement over the 4090, that would be the Titan AI. And look, it sounds like it's pretty likely that the RTX 6000 GPU with these exact same specs, except for slightly different memory clock speeds and memory configuration is very likely to be launching probably pretty soon, but that GPU is probably gonna be like $8,000. And so of course, gamers are not gonna want that, but if you cut the memory in half and you bring it out as kind of a semi-professional or GeForce card, well, that would certainly come in at a much lower price, but how much lower and when would it release? Because sure, RTX Pro 6000 could be right around the corner, but a Titan AI, I think honestly guys could be as late as later this year or possibly even early next year if it does indeed release. So I'm really hoping that Intel and AMD can start bringing more competition to Nvidia in the high end because this is a really, really awesome graphics card and I'd like to see it come out at 1999 not $3,000 plus. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that Nvidia is gonna hold this as just the RTX Pro 6000 card? Or do you think they will bring out the Titan AI? And if they do, how much do you think they're gonna charge for that graphics card? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.